Hey, what's going on, Rattlers? So, you know, during this time of COVID, I can't really travel to the places that I'd like to travel to, which really sucks. But what I can do is travel within the United States and hit some of the places that I really enjoy herping, like here in Northern California. So we're gonna spend some time just kind of wandering up and down this beach, flipping some logs, and then we're gonna check out some other places. And tonight, we're gonna road cruise a canyon road and see if we can find some rattlesnakes and some other goodies. Whatever we find today, it's gonna be an awesome Northern California herping adventure. I'm Dave Kaufman, and these are my reptile adventures. At Rainbow Mealworms, we grow all our insects 100% naturally so that you get the freshest, most lively feeders on the market. So for all your reptile food needs, place your order today at rainbowmealworms.net. Never have I worked so hard to find nothing. Just a couple of little spiny lizards, the scalopperous lizards out here. Not a single legless lizard, which is weird because last time I was here, we found like five of them. So we're gonna go to a little park and walk along a little stream here. And hopefully we're gonna have some better luck over there. So Brian has taken me to this little park here, somewhere in California, don't know where I am, in the north part. But anyway, this place looks really good for you know, rattlesnakes and gopher snakes and anything else that could be utilizing this habitat. So it's getting to be evening here, which is like the perfect time to be out here herping. But the temperature is perfect. The habitat is perfect. I'm feeling pretty optimistic about this. Look at this, other herpers were here and they just completely destroyed this microhabitat by flipping these logs and this rock and not putting it back. Oh, come on, let's go back. Just the way you were. Look at this, they flipped all of these logs and then didn't put them back, destroying all the microhabitat. Look at this one. All right, come on. I'll tell you, if I'm ever out in the field and I see somebody messing up the habitat like this, screwing it up for the next herper that comes along by not returning those rocks or those logs exactly how they found them, I swear to God, I'm gonna give you such a... So it's really dry out here, but there's a creek right over here. This is really kind of, I would think, a perfect scenario to find a ton of herps, but we're not. All we're seeing is the, you know, the common scalopperous lizards, the spiny lizards, the fence lizards, whatever. Nothing too noteworthy, but cool lizards anyway. But California? It's really making us work for our herps out here, so we're gonna have to change our strategy and wait until nightfall when all the snakes and other critters start crossing these roads at night. <laughs> Why do you keep saying night twice? It was nightfall. <laughs> 17 takes. <laughs> Let's just get in the damn car. All right, look at this. So we got this really big tarantula. It looks to be a female. Just sitting right here on the side of the road. There's Brian's hand to give it some scale. All right, well, we got to get him off the road because this road's getting a little busy here, but really cool find. There we go, perfect. Take her over here. There's Burrow and off she goes. What a sweetheart. Oh 
<laughs> See, I told uh, you those manhole covers get you every time. Yeah. <laughs> snake? Uh, was that a snake? I, I think it was a snake. Okay. Reverse. Hang on, hang on. Hang on. Don't get out yet, Brian. Stick. That's a stick? Yep. All right. Seat belt on for safety. If I get an end, there it is. All right, I'm on. We're safe. Whoa! And that is a snake. What Woo! Is a snake? What is it? Oh, I want to touch it. All right, touch it. Touch you. Touch the oh, touch the gopher. Touch the gopher. Oh, so nice. Oh, okay. feel it. Feel it. Oh, when they're so, so I love how smooth they are when they're so small. Look at how tiny it's got. What did you hatch like last week? Yeah, I bet. I mean, that's this time of year. So cool. Sweet. Woohoo! So this is a little baby gopher snake. And in this part of California, this would be the Pacific gopher snake. And these guys get relatively big. They get to maybe three or four feet, but this guy is a little baby. He's really hard to see on the road. And as a matter of fact, as I was running up to him, I hardly saw him until I was standing over him. But man, uh, this is just such a cool stretch of road. You know, one of my favorite ways to herp is to road cruise these roads at night through the desert. And it's the wind is picking up, obviously, but man, if the temperature is still so perfect to see these guys crossing the road. But you all know my love of Pichuophis, so to find a little baby gopher snake here, I've caught a lot of these in this part of California, so this isn't my lifer. But to find one of these guys, whether it's my first one that I found years and years ago up here, or whether this one, which is my, I don't know, let's just say 500th. Each one of these is the coolest snake to find out here. And he's got that classic pattern on him, those big square blocky saddles down his back. These are just the coolest snakes. All right, so this is the first snake of the night. Hopefully it's not gonna be the last. Hopefully we're gonna find a lot of these Pichuophis, these Pacific gopher snakes out here. Hopefully we're gonna find a couple of rattlesnakes and maybe a couple of surprises. I don't know, I'm feeling very optimistic about this road. So when you help snakes across the road, you always wanna do it in the direction that they were heading, and that's what we're gonna do with this guy. All right, let's get back in the car. Dude, you realize this is the most snakes I've found in the last two months. Really? Today. Yeah, in the wild, yeah. Well, I've been dry for like the last two months. That's because you're with me. <laughs> I was with you as well. And you didn't see anything? Yeah, Utah. Oh yeah, Utah. Yeah, that's right. We only caught It's been it. since Utah since I've seen a snake in the wild. Until what? tonight. Well, that's because you're with me. Another snake. Fuck. Oh, dude. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> this is awesome. <laughs> Whoa. Hey little buddy. Oh, it's a gopher. Yeah, it's a little gopher. Come here, buddy. Uh, look at that little gopher snake. Very nice. I think that was another herper. Let's find out. My God, it's a Brian Gundy. <laughs> hey guys, what's up? <laughs> so what, do you, what do you want to do from here? Uh, well, why don't you park somewhere and jump in? Okay, let's go back this way. There's a pullout on the left. All right. And I'll just follow you guys. You'll find it on the left. Sounds good. All right. All right, All right so we're going to move up here, find a pull-off, and Brian Gundy is going to join us. This is exciting. I am excited. Yeah. <laughs> How are you? Mr. Dave. It's been a while. How are you, my friend? Great to see you. Same here, bud. Awesome. So yeah, we've already found uh, three. What did we know? We found two gophers. Two live gophers, one squished gopher, two squished rattlesnakes. Two squished rattlesnakes and a big old tarantula, okay, which was really cool. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> How are you, buddy? Good. Good to see you. Hey, what happened here? Oh, I don't know. Uh, oh, I don't know. I we, we, we're it's not talking turn. about that. I know, yeah. yeah. yeah hey, I will it, never it, have it a beats turn. It, right? <laughs> <laughs> you didn't get that on camera. Yeah, 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 well, yeah. Look at that, you guys hugged out like that was a handshake. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, we got a snake over here. It's just here. It's a squished. It's another squished rattlesnake. What is going on? Just his tail is squished, though. He looks alert. Just he's yeah. Oh, yeah. uh, I wonder. I bet he's gonna survive that. Yeah, I think so. Oh yeah, he's alert. Just yeah, pick he's him up. Alert. Just pick him up. Okay. Yeah, pick him up with your teeth. <laughs> that 
Want me to go get my your legit hook? <laughs> yeah, right. Look at that. Come on, what's wrong with my hook? Your dollar store hook that you got going on there. Dollar? This thing didn't cost me that. Much. <laughs> yeah, he's gonna survive that. All right, buddy, come on. Yeah. Do you know what? He'll probably do fine. Nope, he's gonna do just fine. All right, see you later, buddy. All right, let's go find another one. Bigger. A bigger one, yeah. All right, so this road is like attracting all the herpers. We just ran into these guys over here. Cher, how you doing? Good, good to see you. But these guys pulled right over to find this little guy. Look at this little rattlesnake. He's just sitting right here on the side of the road. So in this part of California, there's only one species of rattlesnake in this area, and that's this guy. This is the Northern Pacific rattlesnake, or Crotalus oreganus. And these used to be part of the Western rattlesnake clan, the Crotalus viridis clan, but long ago that was all split up, and the nine subspecies of Crotalus viridis have all been awarded their own species status. So where years ago this was Crotalus viridis oreganus, now it's its own species, and that's again Crotalus oreganus. And you can see that this guy is just a little baby. He only has a button rattle. And rattlesnakes, every time they shed, they will get another button on their rattle. And you know, you can't really tell how old a rattlesnake is based on the rattles because those rattles break off. And their shedding cycle is only based on the food availability they have. And because of the food availability, whether they have a lot of food or a little food, their shedding cycle is dependent on how fast they grow based on how much food they have out here. So it's actually kind of a wives' tale that you can actually tell the age of a rattlesnake based on how many buttons the rattles have. But what's interesting about road cruising at night for rattlesnakes is you can always tell a rattlesnake crossing the road because they'll actually hold their tails up so that they don't drag those rattles across the pavement and break them. But little babies like this that only have a little button tail, they don't really generally lift their tails up like that. So when you see a little baby like this, Sometimes you're going to confuse it for a gopher snake when you first approach them until you see that little button. But man, this is such a cute little guy. It's so great to see these guys. These are the first babies of the year. So unfortunately, there's a lot of traffic on this road. So obviously, we're not going to leave anything that we find just sitting on the road. So we're going to help this guy across the road, make sure that he gets to safety on the other side, and we are going to continue road cruising out here. Oh, hey, wait, uh, there's the edge of the road. Hang on, I got it, I got it. There goes the rental. Yeah, that sounded like glass breaking. <laughs> All right, on we go. Rattlesnake, look away. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, I just wanted to show how they oh, kind of flatten out like that on the, on the pavement. Get out the well, we've course. got a car coming this way, so we've got to get him off the road as fast as we can. But what these guys will do is they will sit on that pavement and they will just literally flatten out their body so that they can absorb as much heat off that pavement as they can. But man, we just got this guy off the road just in time because here comes that car and that car would have definitely nailed him. So he's off the road here, and uh, man, that was too close. Good job, Bry. Thanks. Yeah, yeah. All right, little buddy. Wilderness is off that way. Oh, he's flattening again, look. Oh yeah. Well, now he's doing it out of a defense. Look at that little button tail. Man, we're finding a lot of baby rattlesnakes out here. These guys are awesome to find. Oh, so much fun. All right. Wilderness is that way, buddy. Go on. See ya. Bye. All right, guys, so just over here off the shoulder, there's a coiled rattlesnake. I think it might be hit. I think it might be dead, but I just want to take a closer look at it here. It's going down a hole. So we got this. Hang on a second. I'm going to do something very stupid here. Come on. Come on, sweetheart. You want me to take the camera? He's going to come out swinging. I saw him on the side of the road, and I was like, Pull him back more, Dave. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to pull him away from here. Come back here. So I saw him on the side of the road and I thought he was dead, but he's not dead. Oh, there he goes. Come on, sweetheart. Uh, let's see here. I want this. And I want to just kind of corral you here. 
Oh, this is a big, beautiful Oregonus. Look at this beauty. So yeah, so we're driving by, saw him on the side of the road, and I thought somebody had hit him and just threw him on the shoulder, but nope. Come on, Scott. Come on. Here, we're gonna on. hook. Dave. Oh, you got a hook? Give me, yeah. give me, give me. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Oh no, lost him down the hole. <laughs> well, that's where we were gonna put him anyway. Oh, that was a big, big rattlesnake. That was huge. Good size. Nice. So guys, one of the snakes that I really wanted to see out here was an adult Oregonus, an adult Northern Pacific rattlesnake, and that one was just beautiful. But he's down in the hole, which is exactly where we were going to let him go. But I kind of wanted to take a little better look at him, but it's good to know that he's off the roads, down the hole, he's going to be safe down there. But we have an early morning tomorrow, we're going to meet Brian Gundy again at another location and look for some really awesome herbs that Northern California has to offer. So hit that subscribe button when you do hit that bell so you do not miss that or any other upload. And as always guys, thanks for watching and until the next reptile adventure, love the planet and rattle on.